Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great week so far. So I can only apologise that it is not a Thursday and yet here I am just jumping onto your feed unannounced on a day where I am not scheduled to make an upload. And the reason why is because I have this new concealer from Estee Lauder. This is their Double Wear Radiant Concealer. And as you can imagine, I saw the word radiant and I had to immediately whack it on my under eyes because if you know me, you know I love a radiant finish. I love a glowy, dewy, radiant finish. And I definitely feel like my under eye areas need a bit more radiance than they generally get from concealers. So the fact that it claims to be medium to full coverage and it also claims that it is going to be a radiant finish my interest was piqued. I was mega excited to try this out with you and share with you my thoughts on whether it is finally the holy grail for people over 30 of a radiant concealer that does not crease, does not age us, does not move and covers everything we want it to cover. So <laughs> yes, please. So here is the new concealer. Now the first thing to note is that you get 10 mils with this one. Uh, the previous Estee Lauder concealer, the Stay In Place Perfecting, something like that concealer, was 7 mil, and this is the same price. So it's 24 pounds for three extra mils, which is fabulous. I feel like 10 mils is kind of my happy place with a concealer. So that's the same amount as the Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> I didn't say sharp. The Huda Beauty is also 10 mils. The Charlotte Tilbury you get a little four, the Jeffree Star concealer is 3.4 mils. Not okay, Jeffree, not okay. And the Armani is six mils, the Power Fabric concealer is six mils and the Too Faced Born This Way is a phenomenal 15 mil. So this is a good solid 10 mils for your money. This is the packaging, I uh, really like it, it's really nice, it feels nice and heavy and it looks like you know a decent solid size as soon as you get it out of the package. It looks, it very much reminds me of the Shape Tape. Very similar size, shape, everything about it. Very, very similar. So I picked up the shade 3N, which is a medium neutral shade. I will show you on the screen some comparison swatches. The closest in shade was probably my Huda in Granola. That was the closest shade. Um, shape Tape in Light Medium wasn't too far away. Um, and right at the bottom there, the Jeffree Star in C15 was a similar shade, but a slightly different tone with that olive undertone. But for reference, I am currently wearing Laura Mercier's Flawless Lumiere Foundation and I am in the shade Suntan. In the summer, I usually use the shade Cashew in the Double Wear Foundation. So that's kind of to help you out with my coloring because it is very hard to tell on camera, I know. So all the claims about this concealer will be on the screen, but it immediately appealed to me because Estee Lauder knows their base products, their foundations, their primers, their concealers have all been mega popular in the past. So as soon as I saw this and it said the word radiant, I knew it was something I was gonna be interested in because for me, as you can see, I love a glowy luminous foundation, a glowy luminous base, glowy luminous skin, dewy skin, I love that. So then to put a very matte concealer under my eyes, it kind of throws the balance off quite a lot. And also on skin that is no longer 20, under eyes that are no longer 15 years old, there's lines, there's wrinkles. We can't lie about it. We can try, but concealer, will play us under there. We all know concealer under the eyes, especially when you set with powder, it ages us, it adds to the appearance of our lines and wrinkles. So a more radiant finish potentially could be a mega good thing for more mature skin. So I was very excited to try this one out and see how we go. So the first thing is that the wand, the doe foot, completely reminds me of the Shape Tape doe foot. So here are the two ones side by side. The shiny white new looking one is obviously the new Estee Lauder and the uh, filthier looking one is the Shape Tape. And you can see they're almost identical in size, shape and everything. On one side they've got the slant and the other side is flat and they're very similar size, just the shape tape has like more of a slanted edge. So hopefully we are nice and zoomed in. I don't know how much I'm gonna need to use, so I'm just gonna kind of start off fairly lightly because we can always build. God, it feels very thick and it also feels very hydrating. I'm actually having to re-dip because I kind of run out. It has quite a strong 
smell it's not perfume it's like some it smells a bit like grass or something like a sort of natural type smell perfect shade for me for my shade twinsies like it's gonna be a little bit you can see the whole I just want to give you a close-up of my eyes because that's the most kind of useful bit I think for most people um, but I am applying it in all my usual places I feel like I'm gonna ha I'm having to like re-dip so I don't think the like wand picks up a huge amount I don't usually re-dip my concealer wand at all and this is the second time so I don't think that's a negative because obviously you can control not everyone wants a huge amount of concealer I'm putting less towards like where my lines are for obvious reasons of trying to catfish people so I'm just going to blend all that in with my damp beauty sponge and I'm going to keep you quite close in on my eyes because that is kind of the the test isn't it does it crease does it cover everything does it cover all my darkness it's not like drying down mega quickly so I feel like I'm in a rush but there's definitely some sort of setting happening but it went on quite like it felt quite thick I just spat everywhere I'm so sorry but yeah it felt quite thick going on and it's I mean I don't know about medium to full it's pretty full straight off the bat I have fairly dark circles I know whenever I say that people argue with me but obviously the lights and everything don't make them look as bad as they are in reality I do have quite a sort of purple little discoloration here and that has covered easily as well as my Huda more than my Jeffree Star more than my Charlotte Tilbury which are the ones that sort of don't quite cover Huda is really the only concealer that ever fully covers and I think this is on a par with that I can't really see unless I'm really really being picky the tiniest little bit of discoloration still showing through so I'm just going to show you as close up as I can feasibly get I haven't set it down yet stretch out my under eyes so you can see it's not really settling in under there too badly at all this is all very positive so far it doesn't feel light under my eyes I will say that I can feel it but it's not like the heaviest either so I think I'm just going to set this side and kind of see how the other side does without setting because I love a concealer that I don't have to set I don't have to set my Clinique beyond perfecting concealer my Charlotte Tilbury creases whatever I do but it doesn't crease any better or worse whether I set it or not so I don't have to set that one um, and I don't have to set my Jeffree Star either so those are kind of my like benchmarks if you will so this is the unset side and if I stretch my face you can see a tiny it's tiny little bit of creasing starting to happen more so than on the side with the powder but obviously this side stays much more radiant because I haven't set it with powder so it'll be interesting I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup um, and we'll see what happens in like the next 20 minutes or so be right back BRB BRB okay guys so it's actually been nearly three hours since I initially put this concealer on I was gonna say my under eyes but I put it everywhere frankly so so far <laughs> got a hair on my nose so so far so really really good I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say it's mega lightweight under there but my under eyes do feel like hydrated I don't feel like there's no concealer there but it doesn't feel heavy either but they it does feel hydrating I don't I can't see anywhere in the claims that it says it's hydrating but I guess you kind of, that kind of goes along with being radiant, doesn't it? Let's zoom in and see the tea. So if you remember, I did not set this under eye right here with powder because I wanted to see if it's the kind of concealer we could get away with not setting. Um, and I did set this side with powder. What I'm noticing, obviously it's always very hard for you guys to see the real like minute detail through the camera lens but what I can see in my very close mirror 
right here is that this side looks wrinklier like my lines are more exaggerated which is what you'd expect from a powder it also looks more matte although the Jeffree Star powder that I used is not the most matte powder it definitely obviously looks more matte than this side which does look very radiant this side to me looks younger but if I stretch my face you can probably see there's more creasing. Actually, when I relax my face like now, it doesn't really show at all and I prefer this side because the lines aren't as exaggerated on this side. It's definitely held up. The creasing is there, but it's just like what I do if I don't want to set my concealer is I'll stretch my face like this. Tappity tap and you're pretty much good to go. But honestly, it didn't look bad. It's definitely one that I would wear again without setting it because I think you can get away with it. I like the fact that my under eye is more radiant and feels more hydrated than it usually does with a full coverage matte concealer. I'm really shocked at this coverage. I wasn't expecting it when I put it on. I was expecting it to be very thin and watery because it said radiant. That's just what popped into my head, that it, I, my expectation. But it was actually very thick. I had to keep on dipping to get more because the wand doesn't pick up too much, which is a real bonus if you're wanting to use a light hand. Um, I'm mega impressed. I was shocked. This covers everything I want it to cover. Um, it looks radiant, it looks very natural. On this side where I haven't set it, it's really not aging me. Whereas this side, a little more, is exaggerating lines because of the powder. This could be my new fave, just saying. So there you have it. I am really loving this concealer. I had kind of modest hopes, like I thought I might like it. I didn't think it was gonna have the coverage that it's got. I'm shocked about that and I really wasn't expecting it to do well on set at all because I was just thinking radiant, you know, wrinkly eye bags. It's just gonna get all up in them and it, you know, it creased a teeny bit, but really not that bad. I, I'm really shocked. I really feel like I will definitely be reaching for this a lot. I really like the shade on me. It's a little brightening, but it's not crazy. There's a good range of shades. We might have a new contender for my concealer, Holy Grail. I'm gonna definitely keep on trying this different ways with different combinations and seeing what works best and I'll keep you updated as always but I 100% recommend giving this one a try especially if you are more mature if you have some lines and wrinkles if you like a radiant finish like myself if you have dry skin the list goes on I I'm shook and impressed I don't know what else to tell you as always if you have any cop uh, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comment section down below. And I will now leave you in peace to enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Sorry for invading it. Uninvited, frankly. I would love to see you in a future video. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.